Hey guys, um, most of you know me, my name is Julianne Kelch, and today I want to touch on the subject of depression. Um, I spent many, many years of my life dealing with depression, and then when I had my third baby I slipped into postpartum depression, which basically took all of my depressive episodes and highlighted it by 50 million or something. It was the worst hell a person ever could have gone through. Um, I remember telling my husband that I was in hell and there was no way out. And I basically checked out, went into survival mode and stayed there for as long as was necessary to maintain my life and take care of my family. And that was exceptionally difficult. So the reason I'm touching on postpartum and depression in general is because one thing that people kept telling me when I had depression was that I had just disconnected from God. And I'm like, well, that's great. I'm still trying to connect with God, so what does that mean? Nobody had an answer for me, but I walked away from those conversations just feeling like I was such a horrible person because clearly God hated me and there was nothing I could do to change that. But as those experiences progressed and as I really started digging, um, I realized that it wasn't that I had disconnected from God in the way that I had been told. Um, what I had done was disconnected from myself, which in a form, I guess, could be said that I'm disconnected from God, but I had forgotten who I was. Um, and that's what I want to touch on. When you're dealing with depression or the people in your life are dealing with depression, it's not about praying more or reading more, although those could be beneficial. It's about doing what it takes to discover you. Discover your value again because you, somewhere along the way you lost it. I lost mine. I had four, three kids. I have four now, but I had three kids at the time and I saw absolutely no self-worth. Um, but when I finally started to put myself first in my life and look at who I was in, as an individual, that's when it started to change. So that's what I want people to be aware of. Yes, connecting with God and connecting with your spiritual source is absolutely essential. But you've got to connect with yourself too. You can't disconnect from yourself to have those sources alive because it doesn't work. That doesn't make them alive. Um, the more I connected with myself, the more I started to look at who I was as a person, what I had to offer this world, my family, and ultimately myself, the more I regained that spiritual connection that I'd lost. Um, you know, and spirituality comes in many forms for many people, and I've redefined that for myself to a large degree as well, but that's what I want people to know, especially if you're dealing with postpartum or any form of your depression. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with those experiences. It's simply a disconnect somewhere. And if you can take that and reconnect with yourself, even in the smallest of ways, it'll start to shift. Um, for me, it took taking 30 minutes in the sun every day, or finding a new book and actually allowing myself to enjoy it, or Louise Hay, that book saved my life because it was all about reconnecting with myself. And then when that connection was built, I was able to go reconnect with my family and my friends and rebuild those relationships that I'd let go of. So for all of you that are suffering with it and for all of you who have people dealing with it in your life, it's okay. I promise you can get through it. You can reconnect.